You previously built a registration view with a form that requested registration data, first name, last name, email, and password from a site visitor. In this video, we will add a key value pair to act as a trigger to tell the controller what needs to be done with the data and add the required method and action attributes to the opening form tag. Start by finding and opening the registration.php page, which should be in the view folder. Scroll to the bottom of the form and locate the submit input code. Create an empty line beneath the submit and add a comment and beneath the comment the hidden input that contains the action key value pair as shown. Make sure there are no error icons or underlines. Save the file. Scroll up and locate the opening form tag. If the method and action attributes don't exist, add them and the appropriate values. The method attribute tells the HTTP protocol how to send the data. There are two possibilities, POST or GET. The easy way to know which to use is that POST means WRITE while GET means READ. In our case, we want to write the data to the database, so we will use the POST value for the method attribute. Next, we will add the action attribute. This tells the HTTP protocol where to send the data. We want the data to be sent to the controller in the accounts folder. The registration view is in the view folder and the accounts controller is in the accounts folder. So we will have to write a path to move up one level, find the accounts folder, drop inside of it, and find the controller write the path inside of the action attribute as shown. When done, check for errors and save the file. In the next activity, we will finish the accounts controller and test our client registration process. Close the registration view.